of time. I was lucky enough to be on the set with Jackie years ago for the film that was released. It was called Pocket Full of Miracles for yes. a while, I think. And um, I was privileged to see Jackie and his team of incredibly talented, dedicated stuntmen walking around the Golden Harvest studio lot, working out the stunts based on what was available. So it was very fluid. It was very. It was almost improvised to an extent. Uh, something like that obviously has to be worked out in advance. So where does the idea from that come from? Uh, all those years I travel around the world. I watch a lot of my magazine, especially this day. And you you can find the internet. You find all kind of things. All my stunt team, most of the time, they just look at the new things. Then we keep the secret in my wallet, in my book. Every new movie comes out, I just turn off. Turn well, what's Good, good for rush hour. What's good for Shanghai night? What's good for no? And such this one, I've been keeping the roller roller blade, a uh, roller roller suit, uh, roller suit. I've been keep for like uh, five years. Wow. Then when I decided to do this movie, I said that's good for twelve zodiac. Then I went to Paris, I find uh, the the stunt guy. I train train with him for one month, and I bring him to the the, the China to teach me how to do the roller things. And the wide shot, of course, he, d he do it for me, but the, every tight shot, I do it myself. Well, we can see your face, because that's what people love about the movies, and that's why it's always been such a, a you know, a, a, I think one of the things we've enjoyed about it, is seeing yeah. that, although no one wants to see you injured, of course, but the injury is also, it's something we like to talk about. Um, <laughs> so, what, what injuries, and I'm hoping nothing too major, what, what, and uh, this isn't a painful memory, but which, what injuries did you sustain on this new film? Uh, I've been bit by the dog, <laughs> well, we can uh, all be bit by a dog. That's no, not a Jackie Chan actually, kind of injury. Actually, the dog so nice, <laughs> really so nice. From the beginning, as a calm go, mm, but until until the shot, I was catch his mouth. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah I have to pretend angry. <coughs> Get down. Ah, da -da. Then I can see his eyes. <laughs> Look at me. Then I just okay cut. Then I just cut. I just let go. Boom! And literally, he's by me. And second time, again. <laughs> then he realized you have to treat animal good. <laughs> and, and, and the second shot, again, I have to do this. Hello, coming down. <laughs> My shoulder shot. I said, no, it'll be good, huh? If you do this, come on, it's gone. He really, he really <laughs> wants to bite you. Then, I spend my one month, four shots. You know, every eight days, one needle. Wow. You know I hate needle. <laughs> then I asked the doctor, I don't want to take the needle. No, you gotta take the needle because the what? The rabies. Dog, the rabies. Yeah. I said, what happened? If I'm not gonna am I becoming a boo 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 every day? <laughs> <laughs> am I gonna die? I said, I precaution, you have to do it. I said, okay. After I get one shot, you have to get four shots. Every nine days for one shot. Wow. Wow. Yeah. He must be a jet leader. That's, that's why he did that to you. I don't <laughs> that. That's, a, that's a one of the injuries. The last injury was uh, I fell down from the, the painting. The so in the, the library, floor, so Yeah, the floor is okay, but the painting is like this. Boom, it's like a knife. I just... Uh, then suddenly, I thought my, my back is broken. And that time, I think, I don't want the rest of my life to sit in the wheelchair. And this time lucky, what about Nick last time? Yeah. I've been lucky so many years. I should die a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> and so somehow I said, when, I asked myself, when I should stop? When, I, it, when is the good timing? When is a good moment to announce I'm going to retire? And just thinking, thinking, until two years ago in the Cannes Film Festival, I said, probably I should announce. But by the time I announced, I put back. I just that's my last big action movie. <laughs> so the the press misunderstand. I didn't say big. They thought last action movie. Yeah, yeah. I said that's my big last big action movie. <laughs> it's not last action movie. <laughs> we know you're just qualifying it. So you can keep making them. See, I just finished the movie three days ago. I just finished the movie with uh, John Cruise, Adrian Brody, Adrian Brody in the. Sahara, uh, desert. Well, tell us a bit about this because this sounds like a fabulous story, and it's once again it's a, it's a, it has a genuine historical background, I believe. Yes, tell, uh, tell the plot. about 15 years ago, uh, in China, Li Chen suddenly the archaeologist did the grave. They find out there's so many Roman body. And this was in China. In China, and even the, that area, the people look like like Caucasian. Even they speak Chinese, but the look, the whole thing is like Caucasian. 
and they realized Roman be there. So we find out the story, uh, the director with me writing the script seven years, they based on true story. Roman, 2,000 years ago, how, to, how the laws in China still wrote. And that time, I was a, um, I, I act like a general, just a today like a UN, to protect the civil role. And I fight him, at the end, becoming a good friend, uh, then how we beat Roman. No spoilers, don't tell us the end. We oh, okay. <laughs> but it reminds me a little, perhaps, and I, was, I haven't seen it, of course, and I don't know exactly what you plan, but I, I saw recently, there are several Jackie Chan movies I've enjoyed this last few weeks, because I knew we were sitting there, I watched Shinjuku Incident, which I'd like to talk about a bit, but Little Big Soldier. I don't know how many people have seen Little Big Soldier. Wonderful film, incredible Thank film. You. Once again, a kind of historical drama in a way, but, uh, but filled with the kind of um, action that we love from you, and also the heart and the comedy. But it felt more real than some of your films. It felt like, and I, I got the feeling this was quite a personal thing for you. Yeah, slowly, slowly, I don't want to do the crazy, like the old day drunken master one. No, I'm not young anymore. I have to follow my age to do certain things. And I have to film something, positive message. Like little bit of the soldier, just no war. Everybody needs peace. When I say I need five acre, and the, 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 the prince, the prince? No, you let me go, I give you a hundred acre. I said, no, too much. I only need five acre to do to, to farmer. You know, uh, all those years, I just need to promote love, peace, no war. So even the, next, uh, uh, the last movie I just, uh, The Dragon Blade, also talk about peace. Yeah, everything, you know, not like an old day, you know, drunken mark, drink, fight, ha ha ha, snake, <laughs> ego, shadow, ha ha. But this day, this day, I more care about environment, care about the world. Uh, Please don't turn into Steven Seagal. We don't want to be <laughs> We don't want no, that fake martial arts no, from you. Just, okay? just like uh, Little Boat's Big Soldier, yeah. I bring your comedy, bring your action. A beautiful but you film. Can if find you haven't out. seen it, you should definitely watch I mean, you can see it, it's on Amazon and you can watch it on VO and various different sites like that as well. But the ending as well, I know the ending, which we, sh we won't say the ending. Okay. But I know the ending upsets some people and some people were surprised at the ending. And that must be, and it's within your power, obviously, to decide how those movies end. Quite a bold move. Yeah. Though. You know what? The day, in the morning, we're still cannot decide who's a survivor, who's leaving. What I'm doing, at the end I said, no, I decide, do this. Let him go, let him stay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We won't tell you what happened, yeah. but really you've got to see it. Um, <laughs> no, we didn't give it away then. Uh, let me ask you a little bit about Shinjuku Incident, then, yes. while we're talking about recent movies, because uh, if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about, but it's a very different role, it's a very low-key role. anybody see Shinjuku, sorry? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that, yes. It's a great Good. Uh, you produced this as well, of yes. course. It was shot in Tokyo, I believe. Tokyo and Tokyo and Shinjuku. Uh, but you're using it. We speaking? have to ask the, uh, the Yakuza permission wow. to, to film that film. And they let us to film it in Shinjuku. Well, yes. like the old days when you were first and the director, And the director has been researching for three years, stay in Japan to talk about uh, you know, the research. And because I respect the director, then I'm agreed to do the film. Then I promised the director. The director said, Jackie, if you do the film, only thing, you cannot say anything on the set. Let me do all the things. And also, you promise you, you cannot change the director. <laughs> you, know, oh, you cannot fire the director. I said, okay. <laughs> then, in Shinji, the whole thing, I only speak once. The helping the action sequence, that's all. Yeah. And rest of the time, I just sit back. Good. Yeah, and did you do. did you enjoy that experience or yes, was it not? It, it was is. Nice. because the uh, the director Eric, I'm very respect him. Right. Yeah. yeah, it's a terrific performance for you. There's one fight scene in that I saw early on, and you think, oh no, is this going to be you know not oh no, but is this going to be a more traditional? But you obviously fight clumsily. Yes, in it you fight like a real person would fight to an extent. And I wonder, is that hard for you? Because for the rest of us, that's yes. what we would it, do. But it is really hard for you. It must be hard to pull back from the actual good moves. Yeah, some some. You, like Shinjuku, this kind of story, you cannot do this. <laughs> no, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Just like the, the a, Aaron Brody, the, ah, Jackie, teach me how to do this. I said, no, easy, just bang, bang, bang. <laughs> we are Roman, Roman and Chinese fighting, bang, bang. It's not like, sh 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 sh. no, I said, you, I want every different fighting. Russia fight different, yeah. Shanghai Noon fight different. You know, you have to decide as a 
stunt coordinator, you have to design what kind of style you do it. You know, Jackie, after this, before we leave, I'm going to ask Jackie to do that up close to me, and I'll put it as a GIF online, and we can all share it. Okay? <laughs> we, want, we want to save that moment. Uh, you mentioned the Rush Hour movies, and I know they were huge hits, and they kind of opened the door for you in the States of so Shanghai Noon as well, of course. You'd made American films before, some very small cameos, and then, of course, Rumble in the Bronx, the big brawl, which never did as well as uh, yeah. as fans wanted them to do, but they weren't as good. They weren't. It's like he didn't. The directors didn't understand how to make your movies for the American audience. But the one, but, but the uh, but the Russian movies. Explain to me what you don't like about them or what you don't get about them, because I know they're not your favourites by a long way, are they? Yeah. And um, in the old day, when I try to when I famous in Asia, I try to get in the American market. I get there, we we pay the director, we 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 producer. Our company. Then I, when I design an action sequence, blah, 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 the director, no, 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 check it, <coughs> too much. I said, no, that's a, I, I like you like a clean Eastwood. Oh, one punch, knock somebody down, boom, make my day, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I said, director, did you know that's more difficult? Just one kick, one punch. No, 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 we don't, we don't like that because it's our production. So yeah. I still do these kind of things. But I trust him. Nobody could see it. Yeah. To see the movie, it fell. But I remember when I saw Rumble in the Box, the one moment it came along was when you're practicing with the practice yeah. bar, and everyone's going, good, Jackie, good, and then it's these terrible American sequences. It was a peculiar decision by then. Yeah. Then, and then I, after I do the big bra, fell, I do the protector, also fell. Then I said, okay, forget American market, I just go back to Asia, mm. do my own things. But 15 years later, the whole Hollywood, everybody learned from me. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they, they hired my stunt guy, they're calling me up. Then I sent all my JC team, Jackie Chan team to America to teach all the actors to do the pa 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 pa. I think it's the wrong timing, wrong, wrong moment. Yeah, yeah. yeah this, Too early. Right, right, now, right now is the right moment. Well, now, of course, China is the growing market, and all the American studios want to make movies that will open in China. So, it might, and I know it's, there's not really a Hong Kong film industry as there used to be so much as a Chinese film industry. Of course, how has that changed the way that you work? Uh, you used to shoot films in Cantonese. I'm assuming now they're all in Mandarin. Did you speak Mandarin from childhood? Or did you have to learn this as an adult? I speak uh, man uh, Mandarin when I was young a little bit, not 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 very much. And of course, in right now China market, you got to speak just like. When you go to the American market, you gotta speak English. Well, American. Yeah. Um, okay. uh, when I get in America, I just tell the audience, "Do you understand my English? You understand? Okay, you don't understand. Sorry, there's a jacket in English." You speak the same English, thing. Yeah. Same thing when I uh, in China, the Mandarin. Sometimes I, I don't understand either. There's so many languages in China. Yeah. Uh, of course, China. I think right now is the second biggest market in the world, probably for the next five years. Not without five years, biggest market in the world. Wow. We, you know, we have one point, almost 1.4 billion people. Right now, we have like uh, 18,000 screen. Probably end of this year, 25, 30,000. Wow. Right? Um, so next five, yeah. You just every one second, one one screen comes up. But you must be one of the heroes of Chinese cinema, then, aren't you? I mean, it must be great for you. Sort of. <laughs> sort of. Well, let me ask you about the other great hero of Chinese cinema, who you worked with earlier on, and who we're all big fans of as well, the incredible Bruce Lee. Uh, and I know that when you started your career, you deliberately went out of your way to do the opposite. You wanted to make your own. Yes. But working with Bruce, Bruce is a man, Bruce is a man to work with, to film with. What are your memories that you can share with us of Bruce Lee? Uh, at that time, he was a superstar. I was a stunt guy. And uh, I remember first time I worked with him as a uh, Jing Moon. What's that? Uh, the dragon film. Fist of Fury. Fist of. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fist of Fury. Who was in first with that? Yeah. Get the fuck out. Fist of, <laughs> Fist of Fury. And uh, I was double the Japanese guy. Yeah. From about that high, um, flying out to the to the house and fall down six times. Lay on the concrete, no match, nothing. And Bruce Lee just boom again, just wow, you okay? I said, of course I'm okay. If I say no, okay, you, I'm fired. <laughs> you know, in China, uh, you know, Hong Kong at that time, you got to say, even I broke my ankle, yeah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and at that time, I, first time I know him, he just looked at me. And I, after I double, I get the money, then I run away. <laughs> then the second, the second time the I second met him. The second film was. Enter the dragon. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Enter the dragon. And the one shot, he was a fire. I think more than like a twelve or 
14 guy with two sticks. Bah, 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 I'm the, the end of the one. Bam! Then he, bam! Then look, turn around, walk away. Then rehearsal, rehearsal. By the time we're really filming, bah, 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 I just waiting, waiting, waiting until I'm, I just go out. Boom! One shot. Here, I just tongue. <laughs> but I'm okay. <laughs> hurt. As a stun guy, you know, get used to it, get hurt. But in the school, my teacher hit me more, more hit that, more hurt than this. <laughs> then I lie down, I, look, I just like this, look at Boosty. I doesn't move, I look at Boosty, then look, turn around. As soon as I cut, I hear Boosty drop, drop the stick. Oh my God! Actually, nothing. For me, it's nothing. But I see him run to me. Are you okay? Then I said, Ah, oh, no, I'm fine. <laughs> Uh, I just no painful. He said, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Of course, the whole night you see the blues are around this, and and that time we have over overtime. Six o'clock actually finished, but the director would continue filming another day. So he said, you stay. I'm stay means I, I pay overtime, and. He hit me again to the water, then I get double pay. <laughs> <laughs> I think he do a purpose. And that day, suppose I only earn $8 US a day. But on that day, I own almost $120. Wow. Yeah. wow. But you, and you could barely walk after a second. <laughs> I'm just so happy. Then, that's the second time I met him. The whole night, just every time you see me, just... Mm. Like this, with sorry. Fact. Yeah, I just, I'm okay. I wish he, uh, <laughs> I, 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 I wish he was alive, for, obviously, as a fan and as someone who admired him greatly, but at the same time, I wish he'd been alive to see you become the star you were, because I think he would have loved to have seen this guy who wouldn't sort of yeah. quit go on to become a huge star. And I think that would have been a nice thing for him as well. Um, you mentioned the school that you were at, where you, uh, and I know it was a tough school. We call them the Peking Opera School over here. I think that makes us think about opera and singing, but of course it's a very different experience. Yeah. And you had contemporaries who you worked with in many movies. The two I'm most familiar with is uh, Wen Bayo, I'm probably saying that, Wen Bayo, and Samo Hung. Samo Hung. Of course. Samo, you're still in touch with, I think. Are you still friends still, with Samo? Still, still. Good, good friend here. Always my mentor here, always my big brother, because in the school, we have to respect yeah. Samuel, he always my teacher. Like Yuan Bell, he respect me, always I'm his teacher. You know, we have a, like, a, you know, who's out there, who's, you know, yeah. this Chinese traditional things. Yeah. And do they come to you for advice for their films? Do you ask them for advice when you're making yes. films? Yes, we always. Like Samuel Hong right now, he just asked me to helping him to do another film. But it's too far away, I said, after London. I, I give him a call. Mm. Yeah, I uh, my favorite summer home movie. I'm sure we have a pedicab driver. is uh, an incredible yeah. film, and that a great film, ladies and gentlemen. Just throwing that in to show off. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> let me ask you about a weird project which I don't know much about, but I know you've been involved in in uh, China, which is uh, Jackie Chan's uh, oh disciple. Disciple. The film where you've been looking for 